Hi, this is Saev Moten with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. So finally at the end of the previous week we have got this upward continuation that we have expected within the previous, uh, almost within the previous whole week. And finally on Friday it has happened. So market has reached simultaneously the target of this most recent ABCD pattern, A, B, C bottom, the complement point of this pattern and take a look. At the same moment it has hit the 127 extension of our initial ABCD pattern A, B, C bottom. It's 127 extension. So uh, on the daily time frame in fact personally I do not see any patterns that um, could help us to estimate the potential depth of the pullback or something uh, of that sort since all that we see on the daily time frame is that market stands at the resistance because right by the final candle on the chart market has hit this level trend holds bullish here, market is not at ever bought, so um, actually probably we will have to look at the lower time frames and try to estimate the potential pullback from the current resistance. One thing that we do know from this chart is that currently is not the time to enter on the long side of the market. Although trend and overall price action holds bullish, market stands at the significant resistance, so it's probably it's better, um, will be better to wait some bounce to the downside. Uh, to buy some dip uh, rather than trying to enter right from the resistance level. Also take a look that that level slightly higher of this is 138 uh, sorry 134.85 area is the significant weekly resistance why we discussing about it. Uh, we will we, we talked about this in the weekly research within the uh, month I suppose so by this time so uh, in general we have some resistance cluster uh, as from intraday charts as from the daily patterns as from the higher time frames from the weekly chart uh, in particular so this could be a really significant resistance area and market could show some bounce to the downside so that is the 50% monthly resistance fib, fib level uh, that is also the previous swing high so around 134.80 area that is also will be 1618 extension of that swing of the, from that high to that low the 1618, uh, 1618 extension will stand precisely in the same area around 134.85 134.90 area so let's shift to the 4 hour time frame here this chart I suppose will be most important and significant for us in the short term perspective for the beginning of the week why? first of all here we have the pattern that we could stick with so that is the butterfly sale that was a bit choppy, but still uh, all major swings and levels were held and in fact we could say that this pattern has worked nice. But now we see that market stands slightly higher than 127 extension of that pattern. So I can't exclude the uh, scenario when market will reach the 1618 extension of this butterfly and resistance will come right from this area, somewhere from that area. So 130. 95, 135 area from this level. After that, market could turn to the pullback. How deep this uh, retracement could happen? Actually, the uh, better fly is treated as worked out properly. If market will show at least the 38 retracement from the better fly swing to the upside, and that level stands by now is around 133. Uh, 96 area. So if market will continue to move a bit higher, then this level also will drift a bit higher. Uh, but that is the first level to watch for if the bounce will will happen. Take a look that this level also coincides with the weekly pivot point of the current week that is 134.2. The next level to watch for is this level. It's between 133.11, 133.45 and area. I suppose that it looks a bit wide to call it confidence but this level is mostly significant because the weekly pivot support 1 is 133.25 stands precisely between these levels. 
why weekly pivot support 1 is so significant. Because we know that when the market stands in the long term bull trend, retracement, if, and if retracement will happen, it should be held by weekly pivot support 1. If market will pass through this area, this could be the hint that the bullish trend is under question. Because uh, usually market stands with the bull trend, it usually touches the weekly pivot point and go or shows the retracement of the weekly pivot support one. That is two major levels to watch for is the potential retracement. And they are uh, stands precisely in a row with the bullish scenario because too deep retracement uh, and continue move to the downside below these levels will be a bit uh, curious for bullish sentiment because in this case market will uh, return right below the previous consolidation that will be not very welcome for bullish development. Uh, it will be perfect if market will stop retracement right around weekly pivot point so it will touch it and continue move to the upside. Well, retracement to the weekly pivot support one is possible but it's not so um, preferable because if this will happen that will open door for potential reversal patterns for instance head and shoulders patterns right here because that will be precisely the 618 could be left shoulder if market will continue move right below it okay that will keep the open for possible reversal patterns and will demand for us a bit uh, more in-depth analysis um, some maybe we will have to spend some time for expectation and more clarification from the market that's why I prefer to see the reversal from the weekly pivot point that will be absolutely logical uh, as from the FIB work since market now stands above the 618 extension on the weekly time frame uh, it al already has shown the retracement in fact this that consolidation with the pullback after hitting the 618 target on the weekly time frame and deep retracement right now when the market stands now above this extension target will be absolutely unreasonable uh, from the development of the extensions on the weekly time frame. That's the reason why I prefer to see the small retracement here. Well, on the hourly time frame we see the possible scenario for double repo sale pattern. So if we will take a look at this most recent swing. It's not very good looking, but theoretically it's sufficient to show the double repo pattern. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 bars to the upside. That's enough. Close below the 3 by 3. Here we have the close above. So if market will show the second high top of the double repo and will hit the butterfly target, then returns right back and close below the 3 by 3. That will be the patron that probably those of you who are thinking, uh, who thinks about the uh, scalp short trade. Um, that is based on the bearish butterfly. That could be the pattern that could trigger the downward retracement. And if you're a scalp trader, you trade on the hourly time frames, so on the five minute chart trades, uh, in five minute charts, you could probably uh, keep an eye on this opportunity to make the scalp uh, short trade based on the bearish butterfly and this potential double repo sell pattern. Anyway, um, as the conclusion, I could say that um, first it's not the time to enter long if you have the bullish uh, view on the market it's probably better to wait the pullback and it will be preferable if, if this pullback will stop around 134 area if not then acceptable level is around weekly pivot support one so the market will show some a bit deeper retracement that is too level to watch for as opportunity to enter on the long side of the market if market will pass through this level and uh, take out of these lows, will continue to move to the downside. Well, that will leave questions uh, about the bullish sentiment because in this case, market will form the downswing that is greater than the previous swing up. So that will be um, not very, in, not that will be not in favor of the bullish development. Um, also, I would like to note that pr keep take a look at the daily cable chart because it has very nice bearish thrust and that could be the real perfect context for either bread and butter trade or double repo buy. I think that um, probably the Great British Pound now um, it's more interesting from the trading point of view 
rather than year. So because it, it has the clearer context, the clearer context that is probably will be easier to trade rather than deal with the retracement on the euro currency. So if you are uh, not sure what to do currently on the, on the euro and you will think about uh, taking deposit trading on the euro currency, take a look at the Great British Pound. Now it has the nice context for trading.